Hi there and welcome to this video and our channel and this is Harry from EnglishLessonViaSkype.com and you're really really welcome. Today we're going to talk about the differences between like and as. They often get confused so hopefully by the end of this video you'll understand the differences and how to use them a little better and as always I'll give you some examples as we go through it. We're using like when we're talking about something that is similar to or the same as, okay? Often we use it when we're comparing people, okay? This boy, he is like his father. He is like his grandfather. He is like his older brother. So he is similar to them or the same as them in terms of perhaps his stature, his build, his looks, his characteristics. He's not exactly the same, of course, but he just looks like or acts like or behaves like them. Somebody lives in an amazing house, big, grand, spacious. Oh, this house is like a castle. It's not literally or exactly a castle. Uh, it doesn't have parapets and a drawbridge, of course, but it's big and it's spacious and expensive. So somebody can say, wow, what a house. It looks like a castle. Okay, so when we're using like, we don't mean it's exactly the same. We're using it in an... For as an ex example of an exaggeration uh, and it's just to give it some sort of emphasis okay uh, for example uh, if we're uh, going to a disco and we're going for a dance on the floor and we say to our friends look oh, be really careful that floor is very slippery it's like dancing on ice now you're not literally dancing on ice but the floor is slippery, so your legs are going in all directions, so it's like dancing on ice. You look out the window and uh, the weather's really cold. For example, this morning when I woke up, it was actually snowing, uh, and it's the 14th of April and snowing. I went, wow, I hate weather like this, meaning cold, not so so warm, a uh, little dark, overcast, particularly at a time of the year when you're expecting warmer weather. Okay, uh, so when we use like, it's uh, as a preposition, it's always followed by a noun. So that's one way you will recognize it. So it's like a castle, like dancing on ice, so always followed by a noun. Okay. He's like his father, like his grandfather. When we use as, we usually, usually use it before uh, the subject and the verb. So this is how you will recognize as. Uh, for example, please leave everything as it was. Please leave everything as it was. It, the subject, was the verb. Please do it as I showed you. <clears throat> so if you're helping somebody at work and they're looking for some help and you're helping them, for example, with a spreadsheet, you'll say, uh, please do it as I have showed you. So I, being the subject, showed, they have the verb. So immediately you can recognize when you use as. When we want to use as also as a, a preposition, well, we usually use it when we're talking about real things. So, he worked during the summer as a laborer. Okay, so it's exactly that. That's the work he had. He worked as a laborer. Uh, he worked as a sales assistant in the garage. Exactly the job he had as a sales assistant in the garage. When he left university, he worked as a doctor in the medical center. So as a doctor, that was literally his job. He worked as a teacher, as a relief teacher, as a banker. So always using as to describe exactly what he did. And it's very relevant when we, we talk about people's work, okay? Um, it's important to understand those differences. So like, similar to, the same as, uh, always followed by a noun, and then when we're using as followed by subject and the verb, and when we're talking about as a preposition, usually we're telling people exactly what it is. So like 
it's similar to but obviously not the same so like a castle so there's a slight exaggeration there but as a waiter as a doctor then there's no exaggerations exactly the, the way it was intended okay so that's to describe um, the differences between like and as and hopefully you get an understanding how to recognize them and how to use them so we would really love it if you can uh, join us on www.englishlessonviaskype.com and as always please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell that the the notification button because this in this way you will be notified when there's a new video waiting for you we have six online english language courses yes six english language courses waiting for you there and there's a discount coupon uh, in the description below so you'll be able to find something that suits you and this is includes the most recent course that we've launched which is 70 seven zero common mistakes that people make in their uh, learning english so this is really really helpful for you so thanks again for watching and uh, join us again soon